Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia. For those who don't know me, treat this as a podcast, whatever you may want to do, and grab a snack, a drink, because we're about to get into it today. All right, so I airdropped the questions in here since I do some on my phone about certain topics and questions. So first, I'm just going to reintroduce myself a little bit, but I'm going to be doing this while I get into my makeup. I'm 21 years old and about to be 22 in September, September 2nd. Um, two is actually my lucky number. I am a Virgo Sun, Libra Rising, and Pisces Moon. I'm also Libra Mercury, a Venus in Leo, and Sagittarius Mars. Yeah, those are like my big six or whatever. But yeah, I really resonate with my Libra and Leo placements and my moon. I, I just resonate with the whole thing. I am half Cuban and on my dad's side and on my mom's side. I am Nicaraguan and Chilean. I pretty much got raised everywhere. I've moved about say 10 times i think it's 10 times i've moved two of those times have been overseas i did um, grow up a little bit in argentina i have family from there as well and then i also lived in bosnia and herzegovina i am bilingual i speak a little bit of french so almost almost three languages but my languages that i speak is english and spanish and that was one of my questions like top page talk about about being more private so i have gone more private in my with my life i think that's how you tell a lot too that you're growing is because you're outgrowing people and maybe they're outgrowing you and that's okay it's, it's okay not to they take things personally i think i was a person who is deeply affected by not so much relationships leaving me but i was more affected by friendships because relationships i didn't i think the ones i've had before were maybe not as meaningful to me that i have a tendency to romanticize people and things i'm very picky with who i let in my circle the blessing and a curse but you know when you pick up on people's energies very quickly it can become draining because you're like why do i feel drained after hanging out with this person maybe it's not that maybe it's you maybe you just don't click maybe it's just the way it is you know i don't give every thought that i have so much energy because then we would be there all day this is the elf stay all night micro fit setting mist up to 16 hour wear 16 hour slay elf oh, i just inhaled that i look kind of tan hold on y'all see this y'all see this glow like and also another topic i want to talk about is protecting your energy that's something i'm not sure oh wait i haven't even done a room tour yet but if you see my videos i have a bunch of evil eyes in my room i do believe in that evil eye and you just have to know like what recharges you like going on a walk for me journaling can be can be helpful too video diaries if you are too lazy to write because sometimes i'm not gonna lie my hand hurts when i start writing sometimes but sometimes you just need to vocalize it and say it out loud should i get a brow lamination again though i love this like brow lamination look i've gotten once i got in one before but i wanted to get it again like more snatched maybe like not as fluffy but still get it like snatched i don't know i think the main thing is just recharging yourself so make sure you're recharging yourself and you know what your triggers are and how to cope with things and not taking things personally that's gonna take time because even even now i feel like you'll always take stuff personally from certain people especially family close friends partners whomever the person may be like you'll be more sensitive to other people's critiques more than others anyways okay let's move on to next oh this is a good one i'm comparing yourself to other people comparison is a thief of joy i'm pretty sure that's what they say everyone having different routes from you because that is totally okay i had to remind myself of that too so yeah everyone's gonna be on different routes from you and stuff and that's totally normal so you just have to do your own thing and not get bothered what people are doing you know because sometimes it is normal to compare like i'm not gonna say it's not always gonna happen whatever keep confidence over the summer don't ever tell your insecurity to someone unless you know you guys are like this but as soon as you say you're insecure to someone that'll be the only thing that they'll see i feel like most people are only focused on themselves and how they look that i think they're too wound up to realize how someone else looks and i know another one was about like skin girl i've been there but i do a, a video that goes deep into accutane and my experience with it you're gonna have people with all sorts of different insecurities and stuff but it's how you react to them because you need to treat yourself with kindness because the more negative view you have on it the more negative you're gonna feel sorry moving your eyes closer up close and personal hello see my lashes look good as fuck 
I'm gonna put fake lashes on them. It's just like a wispy. I cut them. So boom, just a little bit. I like, remember in high school, like there'd be like parties and stuff or little kickbacks or whatever. And I wouldn't even go sometimes because my skin, it was like very painful type of breakouts. Like it would be under the skin type, like terrible. And when I get when I got facials, it used to be painful. And now when I get facials, it's super relaxing. Now we're gonna go into a spirit are you spiritual? I would say I'm religious and spiritual at the same time. I'm still navigating through my journey on what I believe in. I, I, I like keeping things private. Like when it comes to religion and spiritualness, like you'll see me preaching some things, but at the same time, I like keeping stuff private. How often do you work out? That's a good question. I would say at least four times a week. I'm gonna say that. Relationship advice. I don't know people who watch my videos i see majority are females and like around my age so slay the best thing you could do is keep your standards high don't let red flags pile up i know some flags can be yellow like okay we got a big thing it's always communication keep your you know standards high don't ever change them for somebody um especially for women don't feel that you have to chase somebody because i think i don't know i think i know Usually guys or whoever your significant partner is will know what they want. So just to make sure to stay in your, if we're gonna get a little spiritual with it, stay in your um, fem feminine energy. Cause I do feel sometimes I was in moments where I was acting very, not that it's bad, but when you're too much in your masculine energy, it's like you try to control the thing and you're trying to be the, you're trying to be the doer, you're gonna be the provider, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that. But in reality, like you need to be accepting of things because if a guy really wants you like we'll make it clear it won't leave you being confused anything that's for you won't miss you either it's like you'll meet whether relationship or friendship you'll meet people at the time that you need them okay, i'm gonna answer a few of the questions that i forgot to answer but now i can kind of wrap it up what was your favorite place that you lived in but i think living in virginia has been the best for me i think cause i've done the most growing and the relationships i've met here with people it's just been the most meaningful and impactful of my adolescent 18 years i guess that'll be <laughs> i do love miami though i go there all the time i haven't lived there in a while so i i think i would do just fine if i moved back but i am a beach person so i can see myself living in florida again preferably maybe a beach town yeah i think anywhere by the water could be good i hope you guys enjoyed catching up with me i kind of want to do a video of just answering questions and just talking about topics that you definitely don't, don't get to dive into in a regular video. At least I gave you guys a trigger warning before. I literally meant it. I was oversharing. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.